are you doing how is it going happy friday today i want us to talk about the ordinary the difference between the ordinary and extraordinary woman another lady was telling me mudoni i want to be extraordinary i just want to be those women who stand out i really want to have a name i really want to be the best i can be and i remember she asked me what's the secret to being an extraordinary woman and i told her the secret is the level of commitment to your goals extraordinary women do what needs to be done whether it's raining whether they'd rather be sleeping whether they have eight children or five children they keep going yeah and i remember she was telling me okay what do you think should keep someone motivated it's knowing if you don't do it it will not be done if you don't like for example now i have a new title i'm an author if i didn't publish my book if i didn't believe in myself enough to write my story and to put it out here i would not be an author yeah so that is the difference the difference is i said another and the other time i told you guys last year i kept telling you is it last year of 2022 i kept telling you guys sometimes when i look at these very successful women women who are driving big cars women who are really have good money who are living in the best estates i look at them driving their big cars and, and i tell myself this woman has no extra organ there's nothing she has on me the only difference is she has chosen to really work for whatever it is it is that she wants she has chosen to be consistent she has chosen to follow her dreams she has chosen not to stop she has chosen to believe in herself when we are here um wondering who likes us or not or who commented on our post and who did not some women are not sleeping some women i'm not asking you not to sleep i mean by not sleeping i mean some women are not resting they are chasing their goals they the moment you are you, you're busy when you're busy thinking about who's gonna say what or who doesn't like you or who has called you or who has not texted you back some women are busy thinking how can i make myself better how can i expand my business how can i take an extra course how can i book a coaching package with mudoni or a coaching session because my relationships are a mess how can i heal how can i become better than i am today and i remember at some point i was asking myself that question a while back and i was asking myself what's the next level uh, because i'm going to that level where which level am i at now what's the next level because that's the level i'm going at in 2024 and what is it gonna take me what is it gonna require of me to get to that level because let's be honest the level the places you want to go the person you're hoping to become the person you're working so hard to become the woman you want to be will probably require a different version of you will probably require a different thinking a different mindset will require different habits so i was asking myself which is the next level what will that require from me what do i to need to be to become that woman yeah what habits do i need to change like now i said you know i work from home you guys know i work from home i want to get a physical office i want to take some time so i get somewhere nice and somewhere where i don't have to run around and i also realize you guys have big cars so i have to get somewhere with a <laughs> nice parking space so you can be able to come and uh, you know get comfortable you know leave your car secure and all that so yeah so i was telling myself sometimes when you work from home Sometimes when I hear the baby laughing, I want to go and be part of the laughter. Sometimes when I hear, when, when it gets to 3 p.m., I'm thinking maybe the baby's about to wake up, let me watch the baby. I realized I was too, I was not very disciplined. And I said, that is one thing I have to change. Then my new level, the next level of Modoni is going to require me to be disciplined. It's going to require me to honor and respect the work I'm doing. It's going to require me to do that. It's going to require me to get more clients. So it's going to require me to get up early, to think more and to, sac and, and to sacrifice a lot more than I was sacrificing before. So the difference between an ordinary woman and that woman you really admire, the extraordinary woman, is the level of commitment, is the grit. We call it the grit. Is having the discipline and having the inspiration to go the extra mile whether you're feeling about whether you're feeling like you want to do it or not yeah is to sometimes you know you feel like i'm an to home i'm an to bed sometimes i do that i'm an to kwa kitanda 
but then i'm at a point where i said i will go the extra level i will go the extra step so i just want to tell you the woman you're trying which level are you at by the way name the levels there's no level a the level three or level two or maybe i have levels for myself i've put put your own levels which level are you going to what what will that level want from you which habits will that level require what kind of discipline will it require what kind of consistency what are some of the things you need to drop yeah to drop or what do you need to add on top to become the extraordinary what do you need to, to add for that extraordinary woman I'm not going to be an ordinary woman. And if you're with me, if you're thinking this is the time for you to go to the next level, maybe in terms of your healing journey, in terms of dating better, in terms of making money, going back to school, in terms of standing up for yourself where you work, even moving houses, yeah, even standing up for yourself in family meetings, whatever it is, being or even being that elevated wife, being that fit wife, we, that wife who is um, physically fit, that wife who is um has worked on herself who's able to be feminine who's able to you know take care of her home what will that require of you what do you have to drop and what do you have to add on top of that remember the difference between the ordinary and extraordinary woman is how the extraordinary woman really goes hard for her dreams the level of commitment and the grit there's nothing, I told you guys, there's nothing like motivation. Another lady was asking me, Modoni, how do you manage to stay, stay consistent? It's just discipline. You just have to tell yourself, I want to be disciplined when it comes to my career. I want to be disciplined when it comes to my healing journey. I want to be disciplined when it comes to this and when it comes to that. And let me tell you, you can be said to do your own healing journey on your own time. But when you come to work with me, you know, we do sessions weekly and I give you assignments and I follow up. So for as long as you're working with me, whether you've taken the six months program, the three months program, you've taken the one month or the six weeks program, I will, the whole time you will have to be working on you. Like I hold your hand and I pull you. Another thing, if you want to up your self-love, self-care game, you really want to start loving yourself. You're coming from a place of darkness. You're coming from a place of self-rejection. Um, you're coming from a place of low self-esteem. I have an upcoming boot camp from February 5th. The self-love boot camp. Self-love is not a luxury. It's a necessity. Come so I can teach you how to love yourself. It's a group coaching program. It's, self, it's virtual and it's self-paced you can be able to access it in whatever part of the world so i'll leave the details here you can also book one of my packages you can book a session whatever you're going through i actually have some ladies some women who just book one session once a month they come and then they come with a list of things they want to talk about i find it so interesting that as much as maybe you're not able to book the package for financial or other reasons but you just do just one session once a month so you at least you keep tabs of your emotional and mental wellness guys i wish you all the best and i'm here to hold your hand as you become extraordinary and i'm here to hold you accountable so bye